Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to see the first impression for the Android Nougat running on the Nexus 6. So you guys can guess. Uh, let me try which one you do you think is the Nexus 6. So obviously, it uh, should be on the biggest screen. That's why I'm still using that. I've got to create a QHD display. So this is the Nexus 6. This is the Nexus 6P, which are also running the Android Nougat 7.1.1. This is Pixel XL. So this is OnePlus running the Android Nougat 7.1. I just want to show you guys something and that's why I brought it. So this is a device here and uh, the update uh, started rolling out in an incremental way via OTA. So what does that mean? That means uh, uh, depends on the geographic location. It may take maybe a day to maybe two to three weeks. Depends on how you can want that. But there's a way how you can install it. I will let you guys know soon. So as you can see, and this update came via January uh, security patch table. So like Google sends update to all the devices. This is the security patch table right so we will see some of the quick first impression even though i've shown you a lot of android nougat tips and tricks so i will put the couple of the playlists in the description so make sure to watch that because android nougat brings some different things compared to the what you have on the 7.2 and the marshmallow so starting from here the desktop once you get in here you will see you have the six uh quick tiles compared to the if you see here this is android 7.0 so you will get the five here but all the android 7.1.1 have this uh, six type but you can modify that and also you can watch some of the best android nougat apps i have posted so this is what you can get and you can easily go from here to directly to jump from there expanding it you will get some different uh, layouts click edit you will get some option you can read anything here and uh, this is what now going inside the setting this is the setting and uh, the first thing you'll notice here you'll get the support page and uh, you have a phone section and this is working very much very great from morning 9 a.m i guess to 6 p.m the unique and you just have to make call uh, you will complain will be registered and you will get very soon an automatic call back and that engineer the tech persons are really very nice they help you a lot so you can ask any of the queries like a locking bootloader or some stuff they will explain you all the stuff and it's working good and you get some suggestion this is actually a reorganized suggestion i guess i will show you here if I can, uh, yeah, you can see in the 7.0, it shows you something like that. But on uh, the 7.1.1, you'll get this thing here. So you get options, change wallpaper, okay, Google, email configuration. And most of the things are remain same, like kind of a peak and pop information it shows. And this is completely fresh device. I just had a rooted my device. So I will make making a new video. Hopefully by tomorrow, I will show you how to root your device. So you can check that. So going back here this is again it's setting also uh, there's a new section called moves even though this is kind of lift to check phone that varies from device to device if you just go on some of the devices say pixels so uh, uh, all the devices have this section this is moves but you have some different features like swipe for notification jump to camera is there flip camera is there double tap to check is there you can check. and we will see uh like uh, whether google uh, assistant is here not so it's not yet. this is pixel exclusive if you just long press here you'll get the standard uh, google now uh, google pixel assistant is definitely for pixel exclusive but you can install that i have a lot of videos you can see how you can install the google assistant on any of the android device running android marshall and the nougat and make sure if you root it you will get some better things to do all right and just most of the things are almost same there is not much difference so these are the only important major changes and I have already covered so differences between the 7.1 and 7.1.1. So go ahead and check that out. Tap to pay is the default and write pay now if the, your country supports that. And yes, there's one important thing you can do on the Android Nougat. Already have shown you. You just have to enable system UI tuner. So just click on the gear icon. Uh, system UI tuner has been added. So once you go inside this, it should come above, above phone. So there's a feature called power control notifications. So that is very important. I have made a detailed video how you can actually do that. And go inside the status bar. You can enable the battery percentage here. See, always show percentage. You got the percentage here. And I can easily see that. Yeah. And one more thing you can do. Uh, show hours and time. Now it shows the second instead of in, in parallel to the hours and minute. See the power control. How does it work? So once you click on here, uh, by default, it is automated. You can control like uh, how you want to get notified vibration ringtones can show you on status bar on the lock screen or not so this is also a quick video i have done so i will put that too you can watch that this is about the kind of new features and things and now how you can install that so to install that i have shown you previously using nexus 6p how to install ot updates on your nexus or any other android devices so mostly it will work on the nexus phones 
the sixth week. So the condition was that your device has to be OEM unlocked because you're going to play with the bootloader. So to OEM unlock, I'll put the XTA link. You can watch my Nexus 6P video too. And I'm just working on an Nexus 6 complete guide how to install OT and root. Maybe by tomorrow we'll post that. So you can wait for one day to get the complete details. All right, so this is about how you can install. Now you might be thinking about some performance differences. So I just ran a Geek and Enter 2. So this is the Geek benchmark itself for the 7.1.1 as you can see. Now it's not very great number, but anyway, uh, whatever it is, you have to deal with that. On day-to-day -day life usage, Nexus 6, 6 still works great if you just play heavy games, then it takes a bit of time. Now comparing with the same uh, with the uh, Android 7.0, so you can see here, uh, left side we have uh, Android 7.0 score, uh, right side we have Android 7.1.1. So the scores are almost same, not a much difference. So I won't say like uh, Nexus uh, 6 running on the Android 7.1.1 brings a new set of uh, improvement. Now comparing at the end to do, this is the score 83035. And comparing it with the 7.0, so left side we have 7.0 score. 82020 right side 83035 again so it's not a much improvement in terms of performance so and you might be using nexus 6 from old days the three years old devices still uh, works great for today's standard quad hd display amoled and wireless charging fast charging not 3.0 it's equal to 2.0 and still a uh, battery is great camera is okay so that's it guys uh quick and first impression for the android nougat 7.1.1 running on the nexus 6 so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is sort of I'll catch you next video. Have a great day.